See, uh, we are having an association called All India Bioethics Association. And also, we are having an interdisciplinary research institute in Loyola College. That is what we call the frontier energy. And our thrust areas are energy, environment, bioethics. So, during the COP11, since we are also interested in biodiversity, on the auspicious of this, we are organizing one side event, bioethics, biodiversity. So, that's brought me here to organize this program. And we are having three days program. First day we had a program in St. Anne's Women's College. Second day we had today in Agri Biotech Foundation in Agri University. Tomorrow we are having a program on bioethics and biodiversity in Nitec City. So with more than two decades of uh, experience in working in the areas of environment, biotechs and energy, um, tell us what is the biggest challenge um, in India? Uh, in working towards mitigating the impacts of uh, biodiversity de depletion? See, as we are uh, developing countries and uh, most of them are interested in development more and more, we need more energy. So, in order to get the energy, people are trying to get as much as possible fossil fuels. And by mining fossil fuels, we are deteriorating the environment in terms of destructing the forest or creating a pollution, air pollution, noise pollution, all different types of environmental degradation that affect in turn the biodiversity and that deteriorate the quality of our life. So therefore we realize and we also consciously realize the importance of biodiversity. So we are taking into different types of innovative and more mitigative measures in order to keep up the existing biodiversity from destruction. Talking about bioethics, um, in your experience what has been the trend in the past few years uh, in terms of inclusion of bioethics in various pra in practice of various um, industrial economic activities? See, bioethics is nothing but moral values. Today we are having so many problems is because of moral value deterioration. So we thought being in educational institutions, we try to inculcate values in the form of bioethics. Among the students, disseminate this type of in, uh, impact on the students so that they will realize the importance and value added in all our activities so that we will look forward more sustainable livelihood, sustainable development so that we can reduce the deterioration of the environment. Um, Bioethics as a discipline uh, must be included in um, the school level itself. Educational institutions must uh, uh, put more focus on it. What do you think is the status of inclusion of bioethics uh, as a discipline in the educational institution of India? See, you know, you are very well aware that the government of India, Supreme Court interference, the environmental education has been made compulsory to all the institutions starting from the lawyer to higher education. Similarly, we are looking forward to make this bioethics education a sort of compulsory subject even the higher education institution because it substitute more or less a moral education in the schools but in higher education institutions there is no moral class as such. Of course, the medical field they have medical bioethics and no other professional course has got this sort of ethical education. So therefore, we are developing a curriculum in collaboration with the UNESCO Bangkok, a new curriculum which can be used to teach in the higher education institution, including engineering college. So thus, we are trying to inculcate values in all aspects of our uh, subjects, including biology, physics, chemistry, all type of thing, so that when they practice it, at least they will have some sort of ethical value in practicing including all type of professional 